It was this guy's birthday and I wanted to take him somewhere special for dinner. I wanted us to eat food that we don't typically go out of our way to find. And thanks to TikTok, I found this place called Angler that's right by the San Francisco Bay waterfront. And they do really amazing California inspired seafood. And they also have a Michelin star. And I'll just preface this by saying I was absolutely wowed and amazed by how phenomenal the food was. Now I've been to other Michelin star restaurants before and more often than not I've been let down by those places so Angler was really something special. And the staff was super nice and they even signed a birthday card for Chesley. The interior was cozy and they had a lot of nautical touches but it didn't feel pretentious at all. We started off with drinks. I got the pear drop cocktail, which had ingredients I cannot pronounce, uh, but I'll try anyways. Lem Le Morton Pomo de Normandy. They had pear, lemon, and Amaro Montenegro. It was sweet, light, and refreshing, and actually everything that I wanted. Chesley ordered a bear called Old Speckled Hen, and this was the best bear I've ever had. I don't typically like drinking bear, you know, I don't see the appeal, it just tastes like bitter wheat water to me, um, but this was some good stuff. If it's your first time coming and you want to try a variety of items on their menu, just get the tasting. You'll eat pretty much everything on their a la carte menu and it's a great deal for the amount of food you get and this is also what we ordered. The first thing that came out were the oysters, three different kinds, but I couldn't for the life of me tell you what kind of oysters they were. They were fresh, somewhat sweet, well washed, no grit or sand at all like you get at some places. Um, and I was actually debating whether or not I should order more oysters because it was that good. Next came the bluefin tuna sashimi with tomato jelly and shiso. This was really interesting. I've never had this flavor combo before and the clear jelly tasted exactly like tomato juice, but the gelatinous texture wasn't my favorite and I don't think it's for everyone. It was pretty sour, but the tuna was tasty. And it came served with this shiso flavored prawn cracker or rice cracker puff thing, uh, which I liked. Then they came out with their house special Parker House Rolls with cultured seaweed butter. These were so fluffy and so good, fresh out of the oven. Um, and if you want to describe the taste, it tasted like a more savory and elevated version of the Hawaiian buns that you can get at Costco. Next came the antelope tartare, raw antelope mixed with, I think, beets and it was sprinkled with sea salt and then drizzled with raw egg yolk, if I remember correctly. And it was served with some seasoned raw lettuce, so you can eat it like a wrap. Um, this wasn't one of my personal favorites because you couldn't really taste anything other than the coarse salt and the beets, like the, I guess, you know, raw antelope doesn't really have a taste, um, but at least it wasn't gamey. Then they came out with some bibs, and the first thing that came to my mind was Cajun boil, but I was wrong. What they did come out with was the radicchio with radicchio exo sauce. And I have never seen this vegetable before, but I looked it up and it's a kind of leafy cabbage-like chicory and it's absolutely stunning. The color and juices of the leaves give it beautiful, vibrant wine color, and it's very easy to stain your clothes if you aren't careful when cutting it up. Um, it does look like you murdered someone. The sauce was tangy, it was slightly sweet, slightly sour, it was vinegary, it was garlicky, it was, it was amazing. Just order it. 10 out of 10. Okay, this next thing that came out was probably ranks among the top 10 things I have ever eaten in my life. It's the hot fried sea bass collar. It was cooked to perfection, absolute perfection. The skin was crispy, it was well seasoned in a chili oil. The flesh inside was tender and flaky and juicy. I, I have never had such a decadent fish before. I absolutely demolished the whole thing practically by myself because at this point, Chesley was already getting full. At this point, I was a little worried about the remaining courses because they just kept coming and we were getting full. So when the next fish came out, the Mount Lassen trout, I almost keeled over. 
And while the skin was crispy, I thought the trout tasted pretty fishy even when I squeezed the lemon over it. It might have also just been because I was so stuffed, so I was just eating it for the sake of not wasting food, but I didn't really enjoy it much. It also came with broccoli on the side, which I thought it was okay, nothing special. And just when we thought it was coming to a close, the waiter came out with a whole nother damn meal. I almost fainted in shock. It was a whole roasted chicken. Remember when I said this prefix menu was a deal? Yeah. For like $160 per person, they give you so much food. This was actually the menu item that I saw on TikTok that made me want to come here in the first place. It looks so incredible in the video and I thought this was one of their iconic dishes. That's why I was pretty disappointed when I actually tried it. The chicken was dry, it lacked flavor, it looks amazing on the plate, I mean the skin is glistening and it comes with a gravy, but it just didn't have any flavor and the meat was overcooked in my opinion. I'm glad I didn't order this a la carte because that would have been a disappointing $60 spent. Sorry not sorry. Plus they kept the chicken claws intact and I'm not sure how I feel about that. The sides that accompany a chicken were the hen of the woods mushroom, which was pretty good as far as mushrooms go, and the angler cheesy potatoes, which were incredible. They thinly slice the potato into layers and they season each layer and then they reassemble it. And the cheese sauce is everything you want in a cheese sauce. It's creamy, it's rich, it doesn't taste, you know, artificial. I would come back here just for the potato and the fish collar. And to top off a wonderful meal, they came out with their signature desserts. The soft serve sundae topped with cacao nibs and warm salted caramel. It was divine. It was super smooth and creamy and had a really fresh, strong, milky flavor, which I liked a lot. It reminds me of kind of like Japanese ice cream. Um, and this is probably one of the best soft serves I've ever had, hands down. The other dessert was the coconut sorbet, which I had originally thought was a pudding because it was so smooth. It wasn't icy like the other sorbet I've had before. It was almost like a thick yogurt consistency. It was also really good, and I liked how it was served in a coconut shell. And this was actually Chesley's favorite of the two, which is good because then we didn't have to fight over dessert. This was such an incredible dining experience and I'll absolutely come back. Let me know if you end up coming here and what you think.